Welcome to the Lead Worker Register. This short film will tell you more about it and how it can help you. Whether you're a lead worker looking to join or someone trying to find a lead worker with the right skills for a particular job. The Lead Sheet Association has for many years been running a range of courses and recognised training qualifications for lead workers within the construction industry. The courses range from basic to apprenticeship programmes to heritage lead worker skills and we train hundreds of students through a specially designed training centre every year. For many years the Lead Sheet Association were constantly being asked to recommend qualified lead workers. So in consultation with construction industry we decided the best way to do this was to create a central lead worker register. The lead worker register works in two ways. Firstly, lead workers who are registered, it recognises our qualifications. And secondly, and more widely, those who are wishing to find a registered lead worker, they know where to find them. The lead worker register has four specific levels, ranging from level one for those with basic skills to level four advanced skills for those able to work on the most complex tasks. You can find out what is covered by each level online, along with details of lead workers and their qualifications. This will help you find the right person for your lead working job, whether it is something straightforward or a more complex and skilled job. If you are thinking about joining the Lead Worker Register, the Lead Sheet Association will help assign you to the correct level for your skills and experience, and we will talk this through with you at your time of joining. Obviously anyone wanting to join the register will need to provide evidence of their qualifications, which will then be verified by the LSA. But if you aren't able to provide evidence of your qualifications, or have a lot of experience but no formal qualifications, that doesn't mean you can't join the register. The LSA can arrange for your skills to be assessed, either at our training centre or on site by one of our tutors. It does involve a fee, but could be worth it in the long run. If you are on the Lead Worker Register, it can bring many benefits to you, whether you are self-employed, run a small company or a larger contractor. Here's how it has helped two people already on the register. My City and Guilds Lead Worker Certificate uh, I undertook straight from school uh, at the age of about 17. I completed the first four modules, which they've since introduced the fifth, and I'm currently getting up to speed with that. Myself and Crown Leadworks have benefited immensely from the, the register. We've been getting inquiries from architects, from general builders, from general homeowners that would like anything from a, a little flat roof canopy over their front door to window trays for their windows to turrets to dormers. Pretty much everything you'll find in the Lead Sheet Association manual we've priced thanks to the register. It was really opened doors and really made work a lot more interesting. The register is useful when talking to existing customers or potential customers in the respect of they've got that assurance that you have the ability. You might get builders or tilers that are sort of will have a go, but at least with the register you can direct them to that. They can see that they're, you know, they're getting the skill they require. After winning the Young Lead Worker the Year Award, I joined a lead work register so my clients know the skills I have and that my skills and qualifications are recognised by the LSA and therefore they are there and they know they will have a good job in place. As a self-employed lead worker they are finding me on the register and they do contact me. A client recently contacted me. The job lasted roughly four weeks. It was in central London. That was a big success due to the lead work register. The Lead Worker Register also helps specifiers, architects or individuals find a qualified lead worker. You can find lead workers by where they are based and by the levels of skills they have. Here is why one architect would always use a registered lead worker. I think the Lead Worker Registration is a really important thing and a good thing to have been brought along because not infrequently one finds on site the lead worker will turn up and claim to know what they're doing when it comes to installing lead work but of course if they're not properly registered and qualified well then it can lead to problems and work having to be done again at somebody's expense. Having been through an experience a couple of years ago where I had lead workers turn up who told me that they would do everything in accordance with lead sheet association requirements. They carried out the work, it turned out that it wasn't done properly and it turned out that in fact they weren't qualified and they weren't registered. Lead workers register consists of named individuals and therefore 
when you have somebody on site to actually do your lead work, uh, you're likely, say, to have only one or two lead workers on a job which isn't of considerable size. And therefore, you would be able to find out that each individual who is working on your project is actually qualified to do what he's there to do. The Lead Worker Register is administered by the Lead Sheet Association and the Lead Contractors Association on behalf of the Lead and Hard Metals Roof Training Group. You can find registered lead workers or more details about how to join the register online or call the LSA to find out more.